Hey guys and welcome in this episode of Quite Frankly. Today we're going to look at two products from a company called Aboya. Now in the past we already reviewed one of their wireless mics and it actually surprised me. Price quality was very good, but it didn't have the audio quality you hear now from my Sennheiser. So they sent me a new set, so we're going to test that, but we're also going to test a microphone that you actually can mount on your camera. So remember the voice you're hearing now. This is a Sennheiser set, which is, well, regarded as one of the best. Okay, the first set we'll be looking at is actually the Boya with two, yes, you heard me correct, two transmitters. So we have one receiver and we actually have two transmitters. Now, this set is called the BW, no, sorry, BIWM8. What's in the name, right? Now, the cool thing about this is that when you have two guests in the studio, you can actually give both of them a Lavalier microphone and get them wirelessly to your set, and you don't need two. So let's hear the audio quality. At the moment, you hear the Sennheiser. We're now going to switch to the Boya. Okay, so we switched for the Boya set. I'm now using one transmitter, and I'm on channel B. And Anna Week, are you there? Yeah. Okay, she's using the other transmitter and she's on channel A. Now when you record this, and this might seem a little bit weird at first, you will see a stereo signal coming in. So I'm actually on the right and Anawik is on the left. Now, you might think, why is it stereo? Well, it's actually very easy to explain. If you record something and you would mix everything to a mono signal, and later on in mixing you find out that, for example, Anna Week's voice is way too soft and my voice is way too hard, you can't correct this anymore. If you record it one left, one right, you can still correct this in post, because in Final Cut, Resolve or Premiere or any other editing software you use, you can actually make a stereo track mono. So you can actually create left into a mono signal and right into a mono signal, and then you can mix those two together. So the sound quality of the Boya is what you hear now. And Anna Week, how are you doing? I'm fine. Okay. So talk a little bit. Let's talk together, like we're talking yeah. with each other. Should I Anna Week is now you? walking around, and she's gonna sit next to me. And let me see if there's any interference. So yeah, we're very close now. We're very close now, and let's <laughs> see if we cl mm, get these very close together. Yeah, they're very if something close happens. Now. Yeah. So Just let's to touch. touch. Let's touch. Ooh, we're, we're going to Star Wars tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to go to Star Wars tomorrow. We're checking out the new film. So what we're actually doing now is see if there's any interference between the two if you're very close, because sometimes your guests will be very close, so yeah. maybe these will be very close. So that was the Boya with two transmitters and one receiver. This would be awesome, for example, for digital classroom, where we can give one of those receivers, or sorry, transmitters, actually to one of our models, so we can talk during the broadcast, or maybe the person asking questions to me. So, let's switch this one over to the microphone. So we're not going to use any close miking now, we're actually going to use a microphone on the camera. Okay, the sound you're hearing now is actually from the camera itself. And we're using a Sony 4K camera, and that's not a cheap camera. So the audio should be pretty okay. In the back, you can hear small noise, and you hear Anna Week opening a case. So you hear a lot of sounds from the studio. Now let's see if you can still hear my voice correctly. Here we have some material. And that will actually be picked up, of course, by the camera because it makes a lot of noise. And this is one of the main advantages, of course, of close miking like a lavalier. Because if somebody walks around in the studio, you can still hear their voice and you don't hear any distractions. Really? Really. And somebody can actually intervene in the conversation because now the camera actually picks everything up. In the back, you actually also hear my system uh, running because we're running backups. So this is a relatively quiet environment until somebody starts doing this or starts talking straight through your train of thought. So let's change this over for this microphone. Now again, don't expect the quality of a closed mic because you won't get that. Now how do you fit this on the camera? Very simple, it has a hot shoe adapter and for the Sony's or Canon or whatever camera you use, if you don't have a standard hot shoe connector, you need something like this. Now we have those laying around for the very simple reason we also mount the Sennheisers on top of our cameras. So let's connect this 
and let's connect it to our Sony camera and see how the audio quality fares with this microphone. Yeah. Okay, so now we're using actually the microphone from Boya. It's a normal microphone that you can put on your DSLR to get a better quality of sound. Now, it isn't a microphone that will actually aim at my voice. So in other words, if somebody does this in your studio, it will actually be picked up. Now, Anaweek is way closer to the microphone. So let's hear Anaweek. Uh... Okay, so I surprised Anaweek. I'm speechless. So let's see that Anaweek is talking with somebody and uh, we're recording this video and she's having a conversation with somebody. So Anaweek just start talking. Here, let's, so see, let's see how, how he the picks difference up. is. If you can still hear me when somebody's talking in the background, that's really annoying. Let's say we're in yeah. a bar and she's having a conversation with herself and she <laughs> forgot to take her pills. I need some expert advice then, of sometimes. Course, <laughs> we see if you can still hear me while somebody's talking straight through me. Now let's see if that works. So Anaweek starts talking yeah. and I will just keep talking to you guys because she's having a conversation with I don't somebody. Know what to say. And I don't know what there's to say nobody anymore, around so to there's nobody to. around to talk to. And this is actually sounding really weird, so let's see if it filters out any week. Yeah. Like, she is now next to the camera, I'm to the and camera. I'm actually here. The microphone is aimed at me, and any week is yeah. next to the camera. So it should pick up a little bit of any week, but not much. So you hear that this, this sounds like a mess, of course. Normally it won't be this loud, but you can imagine that you're in a location where there are actually people around. Now with the closed mics, you know for sure that that won't be picked up because it's very close to your body. With this kind of mics, well, we'll see. And again, in the back, you hear my system running. And I don't know if you hear that. If you don't hear it, that's actually a good thing. So let's compare the quality in Final Cut very quickly, and then we'll back we will be back with the conclusion of how we think about the Boya products. Okay, we just listened to the results and as with the previous uh, review of the Boya product, it sounds great, but it loses to the Sennheiser system. In total honesty, the Sennheiser system gives my voice something that's way more deeper, more sexy, more nice and the Boya system just works. Now in post you can change the sound of my voice very very easily in for example Final Cut, Resolve or Premiere. We didn't do that in this video, we wanted to give you the raw results, meaning the sound of my voice straight from the Sennheiser, straight from the Boya and straight from the microphone. And I'm again very impressed with the price quality of the Boya, you get two microphones and one receiver and that's absolutely stunning on location because that saves you so much time recording two voices at the same time. The quality is more than okay. Seeing the price point it's actually very very good. So again we are comparing it to let's say a Ferrari and you don't need a Ferrari all the time especially if you can make the Boya sound almost exactly like the Ferrari. And let's be honest, in this video you hear the difference between the Sennheiser right before you hear the Boya. If you would record a video with just the Boya, you won't hear any difference at all. Mm, that's logical of course because you don't hear the Sennheiser before, you know what I mean, right? You won't notice it at all. Now the other microphone, that's a different story. The microphone from our Sony is very good. As soon as we connect to Boya, you can hear that my voice gets that deeper voice sound, which I really like. So the microphone on the camera is something that we will be using in the field without any doubt, because I absolutely love the quality it brings to your camera. And again, the Boya has a very, very good price point. The double camera, uh, sorry, the double receiver transmitter, I absolutely love for digital classroom. So without a doubt I'm gonna still be using the Sennheiser but we're gonna give our guests without any doubt the Boya. I trust the product, I really like the quality and because we're with digital classroom using a mixer we can actually just add a little bit of bass, maybe turn away a little bit of the treble and get a really really good result. So Boya you did a great job and these products, if you're a starting photographer and you want to do some video or you're a videographer and you want to add some audio to your set, make sure you check out Boya. Again, price quality, really impressive. Thank you so very much for watching guys. This is Frank and see you next time.